Sisters. I just saw it with my partner and my son and we all had such a good time. I loved it. Thought it was a perfect summer movie. Lots of action, lots of humor. Had such a good time. Anyway, if you have seen Ghostbusters or you're planning to see Ghostbusters with your kids, here are some questions you can use to start off some conversations. Of course, I'm going to be talking about the movie, which means it's going to get a little spoilery up in here. You've been warned. In terms of sex itself, there's really not any in this movie. There were a couple of sort of running minor gags, but really there's no nudity, there's no kissing, there's no real romance in this movie. So there's not a lot to discuss in terms of actual sex. There are some interesting conversations to be had around gender roles and gender roles and gender expectations can definitely affect the way that youth experience sexuality and the way that they uh, relate in sexual and romantic relationships. So still a worthwhile conversation to have if you're interested. And as always with my conversation starting questions you certainly do not have to ask your kids all of these and you also do not have to ask the questions the way that I phrase them in this video of course you can use your own language and uh, bring it up in a way that makes sense for you and your family in the movie Aaron Gilbert who is uh, Kristen Wiig's character has a really interesting dynamic with Kevin the assistant who is played by Chris Hemsworth so the question around that is do you think that Aaron has a crush on Kevin. If so, why do you think that Aaron has a crush on Kevin? Or uh, what are some signs that someone might have a crush on somebody else? If you've been following any of the press around the release of this movie, then you probably know that there has been a lot of backlash from a, a few disgruntled fans of the original Ghostbusters, which of course featured for men in the title roles. And uh, there, were, there were some people who were really upset that this remake featured four women. So a question for your kids can be, why do you think that some people were so upset that this new version of Ghostbusters featured women instead of men? Over the weekend, some questions came out in the press about Kate McKinnon's character, Holtzman, and whether or not that character was gay. And at first the director, Paul Feig, I think that's how you pronounce it. It might be Feig, but let's go with Feig. Uh, Paul Feig at first uh, didn't confirm or deny whether or not the character was gay, but then the next day came out in the press and confirmed that yes, Holtzman was in fact gay. So a uh, question to ask your kids is, why were people wondering about uh, the sexual orientation of this character? Holtzman's character isn't in any sexual or romantic relationships in this movie, so why might it be important for some audience members to know the character's sexual orientation even though that character isn't in any sexual or romantic situations? Okay, those are your conversation starting questions. If you've seen Ghostbusters, then let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to download more conversation starting questions, you can head, all, you can head on over to my website nadinethornhill.com and while you're over there you can sign up for my newsletter and you will get a free guide of over 100 conversation starting questions that you can use to start conversations about sexuality, relationships, bodies, gender with your kids. All right if you like this video then give it a thumbs up if you know someone else who would like it then share it and if you haven't already subscribed you can go ahead click the subscribe button and you won't miss any content. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. Click to check out my latest video where I talk about Taylor Swift, sandwiches, and vaginas. Yes, this is a thing that I talk about. And don't forget to follow me on social media and of course, click that green button to subscribe so you won't miss a thing.